Well, I gotta admit, trailers don't fool me very often, but this one sure fucking did. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So yeah, tonight we're talking about a movie called Seeds. Now this trailer fooled me because I thought this was a creature feature. So I was all excited to watch this. I mean, in the trailer, we see at some point, it's been a while since I've seen it, but at some point we see in the trailer, they show like what looks to be like a black kind of a spider black arms come around this, this woman. You know what I mean? So I thought, okay, this is going to be kind of in the style of Itsy Bitsy, which I, I thought was a pretty good movie that I, I've seen, saw a little while ago and did a review for it about a giant spider. Well, goddamn, I couldn't be any fucking wrong or any more wrong about this movie. And uh, yeah, I, you know what? I wasn't even going to do a review on this movie after I watched it, but whatever, we're going to talk about this one. So let me read the synopsis. Uh, when his increasingly depraved behavior spirals out of control, Marcus retreats to his family home along the New England coast. But instead of finding solace, Marcus is haunted by the darkest fears and deepest desires. Okay, so it's directed by Owen Long. And I believe this might be his first, first uh, full-length feature. Uh, and it shows. And it's also, I think he wrote it. You know what I mean? Which is, which is cool. I mean, that's awesome. He got his movie made. Uh, the cast is very small. It's Trevor Long plays Marcus, Andrea Chen plays Lily, and then uh, Gar Long plays uh, Spencer. And then there's a few other people like, uh, you know, the brother and stuff like that. But it basically focuses around these three people. So the movie starts off, um, we have these kind of like flashback sequences of like a role-playing sex scene uh, featuring Marcus. And I think the woman in the in the role playing ends up getting killed. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So there's this this other man um, that we see uh, who um, kind of cleans the mess up form of the woman. We don't actually really know what happened. You know what I mean? But anyways, then they fast forward to Marcus going to his parents kind of retreat here, like it said in the synopsis, uh, moving into this house in New England, right on the right on the coast there. It's a beautiful house, you know what I mean? But he moves in there just to kind of be alone. Like he's obviously got, I don't know, some like sexual, I don't know if we'd call it the disease, you know what I mean? But but he's, he's anyways, he's got some issues he's got to fucking deal with, okay? So then his brother shows up and, um, and all through this, all through this, uh, the opening act, we have flashback sequences of, of a younger girl who we then find out is Lily who picks up this seashell and it's got this like it shows this black kind of uh, creature kind of retreating back into the shell and I think okay this is cool man like we're gonna get a good creature feature here well that is not the case <laughs> do you know what I mean so that like I said we fast forward Lily is now 16 anyways she comes to visit Marcus and then uh, sorry Marcus's brother is having issues of his own with his wife. So I, they want to go away for a little while. So Marcus ends up saying, well, the kids can stay here, right? Lily and uh, Spencer. But Lily, and this is where I it totally lost me in this movie, has the hots for her uncle Marcus, okay? So <laughs> who already has like, uh, you know, sexual issues to begin with. And now he's got a 16 year old trying to seduce him and all, you know what I mean? And it's like every scene that these two are in is uncomfortable. And I'll tell you, I mean, if that's what the, the director was going for, then good for him. The problem is, is that these two don't mix. I mean, Trevor Long, I, I don't know if he was reading cue cards through the whole fucking movie, but he was, first of all, hard to hear, second of all, hard to understand, and like I know he's depressed and go, but I, I mean, just every single scene that Marcus and Lily are in are, first of all, uncomfortable because of the situations, but they're at least awkwardly uncomfortable because they don't gel together at all. Like it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And by the time I became uninvested in this movie, I was already so far into it that I thought, fuck it, I'll just tough it out. You know what I mean? Maybe at some point there'll be a fucking creature in here. <laughs> no, there wasn't. This, you know what I mean? I don't, 
if you don't want to hear any more beyond this about spoilers and stuff, but I mean, like, basically, this is all in his mind, more or less. Like, the, the, the sex acts that, that Lily and him do and the flirting and stuff is not in his mind, right? But the, the creature and all this, like, it's... You know what I mean? Like, even I read one synopsis where, you know, there's this black creature and we don't know if it's burrowed inside... Trev or Marcus and it's just looking to, to get out and maybe go into somebody else and this is why he's having all these issues and he's all messed up but you know and even at the very end the very end of this movie okay I don't want to give too much away but at the very end he starts to transform or at least we think we, he does do you know what I mean after after poor fucking Spencer gets killed by this stupid ass fucking trap that he makes around this door so no one can get in and no one can get out. I guess he apparently thinks he's protecting himself and the kids from from whatever's trying to get in. So anyways, the, the parents come to get the kids and, and, you know, Spencer runs to the door and he zaps himself. And Actually, we don't know if he dies or not, but he's laying on the floor and the parents are there crying and blah, blah, blah. So Tre or Marcus takes off, right, goes down to the pier and Lily chases him. And then he starts to transform, or at least we think he does. And he starts to look at the very, very early transformation of the character in District 9. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, and again, this is total spoilers. So, I mean, he throws himself off the pier, but when he dies, he's not a fucking this creature looking thing anymore. You know what I mean? So right there, it's all in his fucking head. And I get it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean... I'm downtown enough where I live and I see people talking to themselves all the time and I always say to myself like what are these people seeing or who do they think they're talking to and this is kind of like what Marcus tries to portray you know what I mean like he's seeing people and he's seeing this creature and it's tormenting him and making him do all this stuff but it's just the pacing in this movie is fucking terrible I'm all for slow burns you know what I mean I get that but I mean if that's the kind of fucking ending you're going to have or the conclusion, like, there's no payoff here. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? And there's no gel. I mean, poor Spencer, played by Gar Long, looks like he's l legitly reading cue cards. Marcus, a few times, looked like he was reading cue cards. But I'm, I'm telling you, this, the Spencer, like, legitly looked like there was cue cards right off screen and he was reading them half the time with no emotion. Like, <laughs> I mean... I was like, oh my god. Uh, Andrea Chen, I'll give, I'll give some props to. Like, her acting was, was pretty cool. But I'm telling you, the scenes that she had with Marcus, I mean, if there was ever two people that didn't gel together and, and try and make scenes work, it was these two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, it was awkward just because of the situation that we're, they were in. But their piss poor acting made it even worse because you can't, I didn't invest in these characters at all. So, whew, I don't know, man. I was let down by this movie big time. Like, first of all, it wasn't a creature feature. And I mean, that's what the trailer leads you on to believe, which, hey, that's fine. That's what trailers are supposed to do to get you in to see their movie. But once this movie has you trapped, I mean, you're fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's, I don't know what else to say to it, man. So anyways, um, if you've seen this, let me know what you think of it. I, I am dying to hear what people think, thought of this movie. Uh, if I was to give it a rating, I, I mean, I'd have to give it a three, like honestly. I mean, some of the cinematic shots were really cool. Like there's a lot of, uh, or a few um, wide, wide, wider shots, like screenshots. It looked pretty cool. But I mean, wow, the acting in this is, is terrible. Uh, the pacing is even worse. And the payoff is, I mean... Was there a payoff? I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, I, maybe it's over my head. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I love art, art movies, art house films. And I just, this movie did not do anything for me. So, anyways, that's just my two cents. Um, let me know if you agree or disagree. Movie's called Seeds. It's out now, video on demand. Check it out. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and as always, guys, stay scared.